Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a little bit of a step back and uh, keep working on our sandbox bit. So we've, if you haven't, I've added the videos to the playlist now so they should all be organized. But yeah, follow on from the inventory series if you haven't done that already. Uh, implement the inventory and then in this episode we're going to keep going on and start implementing some more stuff specific to our sandbox game. And one of the things I really want to add is at the moment I'm facing this issue uh, where when I break a block, it's also breaking the block behind it. The reason that's happening is because I'm holding down the mouse button and it's breaking the first block in the foreground and then it's breaking the block in the background. Um, and that's fine. It's working properly. Issue is it would be nice to have tools, which meant, for example, I'm holding a pickaxe, break the foreground, I'm holding a hammer, then break the background. That would be very handy, I think. So how can we implement that? To get started, I'm going to first create a couple more tools. I have stone pickaxe made, that's perfect. I do want a stone axe as well. And I'm just going to change the name here to be stone axe. Just like that. And then I'm going to change the item tool type to axe. And then the sprite should be, of course, an axe as well. Uh, so let me spot an axe here. Here we go. That's a nice axe image there. And then I'm going to create a hammer. So stone underscore hammer. And then this is obviously going to be called stone and hammer here. Yes. Yes, hammer. There we go. Um, tool type should be hammer. And then the image can be whatever you guys have in your collections. I'm going to use this one here. I think that is perfect. So that's fine. But I should make it so our player actually spawns with that in his inventory. At the moment, he's just spawning with three pickaxes. Um, I want to have a couple tool classes here so this should be public tool class and I want to just call the starter underscore pickaxe so he starts with the pickaxe um, pickaxe there we go and then I'm just going to copy that and he's going to start with a couple other tools as well obviously starts should be axe this one and then a start hammer as well just like that and I'm going to get rid of this white space there Cool. And then obviously we're adding tool. That's wrong. We should be adding stone pickaxe, stone axe, and stone hammer. Sorry, it's not stone. Uh, start. Even though they are stone, technically. There we go. So, another M. Perfect. Um, now let's just set up that in our inspector. So we drag and drop these tile classes, tool classes, sorry, in our inventory where it asks for it. So you can see here we have three empty slots, two classes here. Stone axe goes in stone axe, start axe, stone hammer goes in start hammer, stone pickaxe goes in start pickaxe. Save that. So now we'll start with those in our inventory. And yes, you can see that in our inventory we have, they kind of blend in with the background a little bit, to be honest, but um, that's just because of the sprites I chose. Uh, just as long as you don't do the same sprites I did and the same background color, it will be fine. <laughs> with that said, that is perfect. We just now have to make sure each tile class over here has a option to detect which sort of tool we should use to break it. So we have a public tile class tile drop. We should have a public um, item class dot tool type, right? Or is it, no, this should be public tool class dot tool type. But I believe that derives off this anyway, because this is our only enum, right? Yes, 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 yes. So this should be item class dot um, tool type. Item class dot tool type, uh, and it should be we'll call this tool. Uh, just call it tool to break. I guess it makes a little bit more sense. Um, and then obviously we just have to pass this data inside as well. So tool to break is going to be equal to tool to break. So tool to break is equal to tile dot tool to break. And that's one of the only additions we have to do here. Um, and then in our terrain generation script, may, yes, that should probably go here. Um, so if it's within the world, then yeah, we'll check here. If tile, and we, this should also take in a tool to break it with. So let's say um, remove tile int x, int y, 
And you know what? Maybe I should make a separate function for this thinking, 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 thinking. Yes, I'll say, all right, that's what we'll do. Public. And this should return a bool as well, just to verify that we have broken that tile. Um, so we can add it to our inventory or anything like that. So the public bool um, break tile, we'll call this. Probably not a good idea, but it's fine. Int y. And then this is going to say tool class. No, not tool class. Item. Yes, this will take in an item class item. And that's what we're going to use to verify that we've broken it. Um, and basically what that means is that as, by rather than modifying this, which might break other code, we're just going to call this function if we break it. So if obviously we have to check this, that's the first thing to verify that it is actually inside the world, this tile we're trying to break. And then we're going to say, get the tile at that position, just like this one does. And then all we have to do is just say, if tile dot tool to break is equal to item dot, um, tool type, right? Yes, if they're the same, then remove tile, remove tile. So that calls this function down here and the parameters we're passing in is of course the X and Y position of the tile we want to break. Um, and then we can just say, once we've done that, again, put this in curly brackets, we're going to say return true. So return true is just going to say, yes, we've broken it. If we had, haven't done any of this, then return false. So if it's within the world, then set the tile to that position. Uh, and then if the tool we're trying to break the tile with is equal to the tool that the tile needs to be broken with, then remove that tile. Say, yes, we've broken it. Uh, if none of these happens, then return false. We have not broken that tile. So in our player controller, then rather than saying dot remove tile, I'm going to instead say terrain generator dot break tile. And this is obviously going to go mouse going to be mouse x dot mouse pause dot x and then mouse pause dot y and then the item we're passing in is selected item however this will not actually work because we're passing in an item what happens if the item we're holding when we're trying to break is a uh let's say a block a couple of issues happen doesn't it so what we should do first is just say tile dot block type i think not tile if item dot uh, item type is equal to item plus or item type dot tool 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 please there we go so if the item we're actually holding is a tool in which case then check if the tool is equal to the tool we need to break it with um, and then do this and then of course here we're not actually using the return value but that's fine. We don't always have to use a return value from a function. It's just nice to have sometimes um, because say we might want to use it somewhere else. So add it now rather than later might be useful. Um, and I think that should actually be it. So now if I select my pickaxe, I should be able to break every tool in the way. Hold up. No, that is false because we have not actually set any of the values in the tile classes. So for example, cactus and stuff, at the moment, tool to break for all of them is axe. So a cactus is fine, that can be axe. Um, coal, diamond, dirt, dirt, walls, not um, gold, grass, iron, sand, sand, not sand, wall, stone, and then snow should all be pick axe. Is grass. Yes, grass is okay. That's fine. Um, dirt wall, stone wall, snow wall, uh, sand wall, and I think that's it. Should all be hammer. Um, and we should probably have a null to say that we can break it with whatever we want. So we can break it with a hand if we wanted to. But you know what? Actually, let's not do that. We'll just have it so. For now, we'll just have it so um, all these add-ons such as leaf, leaf can be broken by axe, and you know we'll just make them all break them by axe. Just so we can actually test it, let's just make sure this is working before we get too ahead of ourselves. I have spawned in. I can break only the foreground tiles with my pickaxe, no matter how much I hold down the mouse button. If I switch to my axe, I can't actually break anything. If I switch to my hammer, you'll see that I'm breaking only the background tiles. Nice, and then if I, I shouldn't be able to break any of these logs and stuff, 
except I can't verify that. Let me go over to this tree and see if I can break any of its leaves. No, I can't break the trunk. If I switch to my pickaxe, I can't break anything. No, if I switch to my axe, however, I can break it. There we go. Nice. All right. So that's that implemented. However, you'll notice that uh, we can't actually break grass with a pickaxe. We can't break it with a hammer either. We need an axe to break it at the moment. So it'll be nice to have it so if the item that we need to break it with is null, then it can just break with whichever item. How can we do that? And that's under our terrain generation script. Here, before we verify that the item is the same, um, all we can do is just say, uh, go to our item class, have another tool type here for none. Um, and then in our terrain generation, I can simply say if item dot item type is equal to item class dot item type dot null. Uh, what am I doing? If tile dot tool to break is equal to um, item class dot tool type dot none. That's the one I wanted to do. Okay, so then do this. So if it's equal to this, then do this. Uh, no, that's wrong. This should be inside else. Else this, yes. Control X and Control V. Okay. In which case, then remove tile will turn true. All right. So it gets the tile from the world. Then says if the tile doesn't, if the tile to break is none, then break it regardless of what tool we're holding. Otherwise, if it's a tool, right? Yeah, so that means we can break grass and stuff regardless if we're holding a block or a tool, doesn't matter. Um, otherwise, if it says, so we need a tool to break otherwise, then if the item we're holding is a tool, then if the item we're holding's tool is equal to the tool we need to break the tile, then break it. Make sense? I hope it's not confusing you guys too much. I think we have done the system pro quite well, so it allows us to really simply just reference a lot of things. I should be able to break grass now, even if I'm not holding anything. Uh, wait, have I even set that? I don't think I've set that. Now the reference. Yes, makes sense. Um, so yeah, so stone, snow grass is none. Are they all none? They're all none. Uh, I see what happened. They've all moved down. Okay, we just have to set these all up again. So I'm going to set these up, and then I will be right back with you guys. Oh, in fact, you know what? I'll do it on clip. It doesn't matter at all. I'm going to say log is all axe. Cactus and log is axe. Sand, um, iron, grass, gold, dirt, diamond, coal, snow, stone is all pickaxe. Tall grass, snow grass, and... Um, do I have other ones? Dead grass. Should all be none. Yep. Snow, stone wall, wall, all the walls should be hammer. And then leaf should also be none. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's save and press play. Cool, I'm trying to break everything. Doesn't work, that's fine. I can only break the stones, yes, that's fine. I can break leaves, that's perfect. Um, I have a pickaxe, can I break the dirt? Uh, what? Um, <laughs> we also do the same to our tools. So one thing I will actually say, rather than, uh, yeah, I did this wrong. Um, over here, do not add none to the top, add it to the bottom, because what happens is it inserts this, uh, which means everything that was axe is now none, everything that was pickaxe is now axe, everything that was hammer is now pickaxe. Um, so yeah, that is my bad. I should not have done this that way, but... It's fine, it's a learning curve for all of us. Um, there we go. If I set that up now like that, that should work. So yeah, just make sure you insert none at the bottom of the list uh, so you don't have to set this all up again. But now that should be fine. Yep, I can break this, I can break this. Yes, I can break hammer, yep. Um, and yeah, that's all cool, good. And it doesn't matter what tool we use for leaves or grass. Perfect, all right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, I don't know why these have fallen through the ground. Yeah, good progress today. Thanks for watching. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Project download, all that is there uh, for those who want to download the project, play around with it. Apart from that, that's it. All right, 
Catch you guys later. Take care and peace.